Hi, my name is Guo Chang Liu. I was born in China on June 2nd, 1999, and this is my fourth year in the United States. My father is a business owner, and he wants me to work in his company after I graduate from college. He taught me a lot about his business operation when I was very young. He put me in the conference room and hearing the manager do their report every Friday and take me to some kind of event and meet other business owners. But at that time, I have no idea how those would affect my future. My father is the person who has the most influence on my life. He was very strict to me when I was little and it makes me even hate him sometimes. I disobeyed his order once in a while, but it always ends in the bad result. As I grew up, he gives me a lot of freedom than before, and I realized he just wanted me to be better. I used to have a lot of crazy ideas when I was a kid, even though 99.9% .9 of my idea didn't come true, but he always supported me for no reason. There's one thing that really changed my life. I still remember when I was 10 years old. I was playing skateboard in my father's factory. And unfortunately, the screw on the wheels break apart. And I tripped myself by skateboard. I fall down and I hurt my legs. Blood comes out. Then I ran to my father with tears to look for his help. But my father just looked at me coldly. He seems very angry. He took my skateboard away from my hand and bounced on the ground. Then the skateboard broke to several parts. He picked up the biggest piece and bounced again. Suddenly, I cried even harder. I couldn't understand why he did that to me. He yelled at me very loud, don't cry, in front of all the employees. Some of the employees are shocked and some of them are laughing. Then, I get scared and run away. I believe that was the most embarrassing moment in my life because I felt that everyone was laughing at me. Two days later, when I was doing my homework, my father came to my room with a brand new skateboard. He sits down beside me. He told me, I'm sorry for breaking your skateboard, but remember, never cry with a small problem. Then he opens the bag and gives me a new skateboard. Now on, I still remember the lesson my father taught me. He taught me how to be strong. When good things turn bad, don't run from it. Face to it and solve it. My goal in life is to take care of my father's business because he's almost 50 years old. And I want him to retire as early as possible. Also, I believe college can help me succeed. Become a college student was not hard for me, but also, it never become easy, because I have to fight even harder than before. My role model is also a motivation for me to become successful, and he is the best friend of my father he grew up with. I choose him as my role model is because he is the most successful and the closest person that I can talk to face to face. And his corporation is leased on Hong Kong in 2016. If I have a broker account in Hong Kong, I will buy tons of stock from his corporation. He's the person who starts from the very bottom, suffering and starving and cold when they are young. Family betray him when he starts to do business, and now become a millionaire. His story motivates me so much. I respect the person who creates everything by their own hand which brings people hope and motivates others to fight for their own future. I love one of the sentences he said, 100% of people know how to succeed, but only 10% of people are willing to do. 5 out of 10% of people give up at the halfway. 4 out of 5% of the people give up at the last moment, and that is why only 1% of the people finally made it. I am a lucky guy. I can clearly see my future. Even though my parents didn't force me to become successful in the future, but I will prove my value to them, and I won't let them down.
and this is me. Thank you for you guys watching.